so hello friends today we are going to repair this motherboard so this motherboard number is uh, 6050e 286 and this is a inventec motherboards used in the hp laptops and this motherboard is not powering on okay and uh, now we are going to repair this motherboard with the help of this book this is book for the cheap level laptop repair book which give you the detailed knowledge about how to repair motherboards okay each and every points is included in this book dead laptop no display dim display white display all the peripheral like usb audio network whatever the problem is there in the laptop which give you the solution is there in this book okay plus we added a bias editing section so in this book you will get uh, about the knowledge about how to uh, how to repair the bias of different different makes like hp dell lenovo sony asus sr okay so we'll start to repair this uh, motherboard so i use your dc power supply and then this is the connector okay now connect your then turn on and you can see uh there is a current it start uh, it goes to the till seven and then come down okay that means we'll go into particular page where this current chart is there okay so this motherboard is a later generation say around 10 generation and the current should come from 5 to 20 milliampere okay if the current is coming from 5 to 20 milliampere you can see here the current is coming 5 milliampere when i connect or uh, dc power supply to the motherboard then current is showing a 5 milliampere and if the current is showing a 5 milliampere here then it means that the 3.3 volt is generating and the SIO got the power okay and uh, now I'm going to turn on the motherboard and we'll see what's happened so where is the power button oh uh, yeah this power button is here so and the another thing is in HP laptop if the light is glowing this side that means SI is working okay always remember this point in only this is on the HP laptop okay the light is glowing that means the SIO part like the SI is okay the EC bias is okay okay now the second thing is now we are going to turn on the power supply so this is my power switch so I am pressing this power switch but when I switch the power it's nothing is happened there's a no difference is not showing any difference when I press the power button this motherboard is not turning on okay that means something problem so you can see in this uh, diagram when the SI got the power when we press the power button and then if the light is glowing that means the SI is okay and uh, when we press the power button and the RSM RST and power button signal goes out from the SIO to the CPU and then CPU send a uh, two signal that is SLP3 and SLP4 so probably this SLP3 SLP4 signal is not generating by uh, this CPU the CPU is here it's not generating first what we'll do we'll take oscilloscope and we'll see uh, whether the RTC section is okay or not because the RTC RTC reset and RTC clock uh, should work to run the CPU so what we'll do we'll turn on the oscilloscope and we'll see RTC section so uh, here is the oscilloscope what I'll do is I'll see where is my RTC crystal uh, here is a uh, one crystal and this crystal is a uh, 25 megahertz. So this is uh, for the clock crystal So I'm not going to check this crystal because this crystal is going to turn on after power on button press That means after turn on the motherboard. Okay, and there's one more crystal is here You can see there's a small crystal here and this crystal is for RTC crystal and this this crystal is a 32.7 kilohertz which generate the RTC clock okay so what I'll do I'll use oscilloscope okay and uh, this uh, point I'm going to connect at the ground here and uh, then I keep my oscilloscope into 10x so this is a 1x and then this is a 10x okay and this is a voltage now the current is in 50 volt so what I'll do is I'll keep it on the 100 millivolt okay so so now it's gone to the 100 millivolt okay so oscilloscope is on now on 100 millivolts okay so now what i'll do i'll connect and i will see uh, whether it is showing a clock or not so i connect here it's not showing a clock on the this side also nor this side also it's not showing any clock 
okay we'll see here also no clock is showing see here no clock is showing there's a crystal is not generating a 32.7 kilo at this point that means the probably the crystal is bad okay and see here the no clock is here okay so what we'll do we'll replace this crystal and we'll see okay Now we put a crystal, new crystal in this motherboards and uh, now we'll check. So I connect the power over here. The current is coming. Now the next thing is I connect the oscilloscope, connect the ground and then to 10x and then we'll see the frequency. And uh, now you can see this frequency is coming. Okay. This frequency is 32.7 kilohertz is coming here. Okay, 50 millivolt. I kept it 50 millivolt and uh, the current this this frequency is called the RTC. Okay, RTC clock and this frequency generate before power on button press and this frequency only goes to the SI it's called the SUS clock. Okay, so this frequency is coming. So now my CPU is alive and uh, now I'll do one thing and now I'll turn on my motherboard where is my power switch then my power switch is here so i'll press the power switch i press the power switch and see you can see the current is shoot up it's going to 300 400 and the motherboard is power on light is blue motherboard is turned on now we'll see the display so we put back uh, this motherboard into this laptops and given the power you can see the six milliampere is coming on the dc power supply and this light also going and then here is my power switch and then I press the power switch and the current should shoot up. See when I press the power button, current goes to the 600, then fluctuating, come back to the 400, somewhere at 421 and here is the display. You can see the display is coming. Okay. So display is coming. The problem is solved. Okay. So you can see with the help of this book we repair this uh, motherboard so this book is very helpful to repair all types of laptop latest to later generation and plus we include it uh, bias editing sections so you can repair the bias okay with the help of this book as well as the laptop motherboard so thank you very much have a nice day bye